Hey everybody, this is Ryan E. Louie and this is the Dig Series. This is episode 13. Thank you everybody that's been listening. Uh, it's been really fun. And uh, anyway, this week's podcast is going to be on the gear that I play on. And really, it's, it's just about drum gear in general. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a gear nut, so to speak. I, I love playing drums. I love drums. I love drumsticks. I love mallets. I love timpani. I love everything that has to do with percussion. So today we're going to talk about some of the instrument companies I'm endorsed with and what they're about thought this would be an interesting uh, series. Uh, a shout out, you know, I, I've done every week and sometimes I hold it to the end, sometimes I hold it in the beginning. Uh, this week's shout outs, you know, we're still kind of in that Studio Louis stage. I'm kind of going on Saturday lessons and Friday lessons. So for my Friday lessons, there is Tristan and there is, uh, and Saturday, there's Holden, there's Chase, and uh, those are some of my students that are on there. So a shout out goes to you folks. And if I forget any, I'll make sure I'll get some, but I'll get everybody within Studio Louie. And uh, so today's podcast, again, is uh, some of the companies that are endorsed by me. But it's really about drum gear in general and percussion gear and everything that I like about it. So let's get started. Here we go. You know, in order to get endorsed with uh, drum companies or mallet companies, cymbal companies, anything that has to do with percussion. Uh, I will give a shout out uh, to my companies, which, uh, and then I'll kind of talk about them individually, but I'll do them as a whole here. It is the Deodora Company, which is like Evans Drum Heads and Promark Drumsticks. Uh, I'm also endorsed with Bosphorus Cymbals and also Black Swamp Percussion and Eerie Drums and Shells. Those are the five companies that endorse me. And what that means is I play their instruments and their sticks exclusively. And then I promote them the best that I can in which, you know, through social media and through lessons and all the teachings I do at school. And in return, you know, they either give me a, a gigantic discount on, on uh, their gear that I use, which you kind of already know this. But I'm going to talk about each of the companies here a little bit and uh, why I think they are the ones that I choose and to use. And so the first one are uh, Bosphorus symbols. Bosphorus symbols are made in Istanbul, Turkey. And so whenever I get their symbols, we know for sure that they are made, they are imported from Istanbul. They call it like the old world symbol making way. And a lot of their symbols are hand hammered. And what that means is uh, they actually, after they get out of the machine that presses them, uh, they'll sit there on a stool and, and, and they'll just sit there and hammer it. And that gives it a, a richer, darker sound. The metal they use in, in a symbol is called a B12 metal. And uh, they melt it down so it's incredibly hot. They use wood and this hot, hot, hot fire and they melt all the metal down. And then they kind of get them into like little discs and then they press them and then they shape them uh, to the weight and to the diameter in which uh, they make. And they make them all the way up, uh, you know, to 26 inches of symbols. You know, I have two of their 24s, 24 inches in diameter, and roughly anywhere between 1,200 and 1,500 grams in weight. And, uh, but they, they are... Uh, like that old world of symbol making and their their tones are really warm and dark and lush and shimmery and uh, those are the kind of symbols which my ear leads me to the kind of music I play really kind of uh, to what I think that sounds the best they are um, a responsive company to me when it comes to I go out and do clinics uh, they usually, you know, for the Pan and Percussion Institute, which is, you know, it's 16th season here. And I'll talk about a podcast about that uh, later. And as we get closer to it, uh, they always send a boss for a symbol. And uh, that symbol we just pass on to the kids. So usually and always an outstanding camper will be given a symbol by, by Bosphorus. So that is something that's very generous. They also give hats and t-shirts, stickers, you know, that we pass around to the kids when I go out and do clinics like that. Uh, another company are Erie Drums and Shells. Erie Drums and Shells are made in Barberton, Ohio. So it is just a town and a half away from me. 
Uh, Ian Witt is the person that uh, is in charge of that. Uh, all the drum sets that I play, that I go out and tour and play with, are his Erie drums and shells. Uh, they're either solid shell kits, um, and uh, solid shell means that it is one piece of wood that they, he bends and steams, and, uh, and then uh, makes it into... A, so those solid shell drums tend to be more uh, resonant, uh, and uh, they get a better tone out of them. Not that ply shells don't, but I mean, these, these solid shell drums are incredible. Uh, different kinds of wood from cherry to walnut to oak. And uh, I also have a set of babinga that if you see me play out, uh, outside of the studio, that is when I'm playing a gig, I use a babinga kit, which is an African hardwood or Brazilian hardwood, one of the two. And that's a really, really incredible sounding drum set as well. Um, and so I also have a bunch of his concert snare drums. His concert snare drums are solid shell snare drums as well. And they're more with a concert setup. Uh, and so, uh, anyway, that's Eerie Drums and Shells. Black Swamp Percussion is probably one of the world's largest when they make tambourines, uh, triangles, triangle beaters, accessories for, for percussion, like classical percussion, classical percussion snare drums, as well as um, uh, drum set snare drums. They're dynamic series. I have two of their snare drums. They're all solid shell, and uh, one's cherry, and the other one's not. It's it's a it's made of brass, and it is a beautiful. My uh, the latest album that I recorded it was a little while ago, uh, Truth with the Ryan Louis Trio. Uh, I recorded on that. It's called the Medallion Brass Snare Drum, made by Black Swamp. It's a dynamic series, incredible snare drums, and uh, the the one that's in my bags that I go out and play with is a solid shell cherry. So it's a solid shell cherry snare drum. Uh, with a Babinga drum set made by Erie, Erie Drums and Shells. Black Swamp Percussion, Erie Drums and Shells. So those are, you know, some of the drums that I use. Uh, some of the classical drums also are, um, uh, they're top of line series that is made of titanium. And it's a beautiful snare drum. So in Studio Louie, I have two snare drums set up for classical. Uh, one is a maple Black Swamp uh, and the other one is a titanium uh, black swamp. So different, totally different sounds uh, in snare drums. And uh, if you've come to Studio Louis, you've seen all the snare drums uh, that are in my cabinet uh, that I have. And I'm very lucky to have all of those. And they're all different kinds of snare drums. And uh, But the ones that I'm endorsed with are black swamp percussion in eerie drums and shells. So we've talked about that. Evans Drum Heads are the drum head company which I use. Uh, so... At the schools I teach with, of course, you know, we use their marching heads. We're just, you know, we, we use all of those from uh, the hybrids to the, the system blues to uh, the MX1s for marching. On my drum set, I use the UV1s and also the, uh, on the bass drum is like an EMAD or an EQ4 that I've been using on my bass drums. Uh, they're great pliable drum heads. They're all single ply that I use. Uh, for my classical drums, I, I use the Strata series. And the Strata series are kind of like a coating that they put on it that gives it a darker, richer sound. So I have both of those on my classical snare drums. Also on my timpani, uh, I own Yamaha 6200 series timpani. And uh, there are four of them that I own. And uh, they're beautiful, beautiful timpani. Uh, as far as mid-range drums go, they're, they're probably the best on the market. I got those over 20-something years ago, and they have uh, held up and uh, treated me very, very well. I've recorded many, many, many uh, things with, uh, with those timpani from with the Canadian Brass, uh, with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, with all, all sorts of groups I've recorded with those timpani. And uh, I use the Strata Timpani Heads, Evan Strata, on those. And uh, they get such an incredible sound. Uh, other than using calf, you know, and uh, but I'm not going to use calf on those. At any rate, those are some of the drum heads that I use for that. And that's through the Evans Drum Head Company. Uh, the sticks I use are, are, are mainly Promark sticks. And uh, so my drum set sticks are mainly Promark, or are all Promark and Promark brushes. 
and uh, the their uh, broomsticks and everything like that. So when you see me play drum set, it'll always be Promark drumsticks, as well as some of my classical snare drum playing will be Promark as well. And uh, so those are, uh, I think I got all the companies that I are I endorse with going on, you know, with, with other instruments that you would find in the studio. Well, let me just d double back real quick and just say thank you for all the companies that uh, endorse me and I endorse as well. My relationship with each one of the companies is really, really strong. And I'm really lucky that I'm able to use their products and uh, know that it is some of the best there out on the market today. And they certainly help me play better and then they make me sound better in my playing. And you can always experience that, you know, at, at Studio Louie because those most of those instruments are always out there. The drumsticks are always out there and the mallets. And so anyway, that is my endorsements. You know, the companies are very, very flexible nowadays in the sense that, uh, you know, percussionists are are in a way transient in that if I'm doing a clinic at a school, not all the time am I taking my gear. I'll take my mallets and my sticks everywhere, you know, everywhere I go and play. But sometimes I'm playing on a different snare drum. Sometimes I'm playing on a Pearl Philharmonic or I'm using different kinds of timpani or playing on a Tama drum set. And, uh, you know, all these companies that, I, that I'm naming are still really incredible companies. And uh, so when I do go out and play, and uh, you know, or I'm doing clinics, not all the time do I just get to play on those five companies uh, that endorse me. And so some of, I think what is really interesting and what should be part of a student's, like that are listening or anybody that is interested in percussion, you know, they always say music has its own language. I think gear, like drum gear and mallets and music and everything like that, cymbals, it has its own language as well. And so uh, sometimes knowing what the differences are between a Bosphorus cymbal, a Zildjian cymbal, Paiste, uh, Minel, uh, uh, I mean, Dream cymbals, Sabian, there's so, there are a lot of cymbal companies out there and there are always new ones developing. It is nice to know the differences between each one of those symbols and where they're made, how they're made. And I could say the same thing about the marimbas that I own. I own two marimbas. Uh, one is made by Doug DeMauro, uh, which is, a, he's a, um, a marimba maker, probably one of the world's greatest marimba makers. And there are different mal uh, marimba uh, companies out there. And the other one is Trixon that I picked up from a student, Eric. Uh, Metzger, who's uh, doing extremely well here in Medina as a realtor, and so it's really cool that he does that. But I picked it up from him, so that's a five octave marimba. My other marimba, the Doug DeMauro, is a, a four and a third. I got a quick story about that. I'm at PASIC, and PASIC is a convention that I go to every year. It's because of Art Society in Convention, and I'm hanging out with uh, Doug DeMauro, you know, the marimba maker, and he is also uh, he was a percussionist in the Arkansas Symphony. And uh, we were talking and, you know, he custom built this marimba for me that you can see in Studio Louie. A beautiful instrument with, uh, you know, uh, rosewood bars uh, and everything that's metal on is made of brass. So the support beams, the resonators, everything which are tunable are all, are all made of brass. The, the instrument weighs a ton. It's a four and a third octave marimba. And so we're, we're, we're actually at Nicky Blaine's uh, smoking a cigar and we're talking. And he had found out that I had got or I'd received a, a five octave marimba and he wanted to know what kind it was. And so going on with the story, you know, he was trying to get me. So I said, yeah, you know, Doug, I don't want to tell you. No, no, come on. You could tell me, right? No, I don't want it. And so anyway, it ended up I told him what kind of marimba it was. And he was completely perplexed because really Doug DeMauro is like one of the greatest marimba makers uh, walking the earth today. And so it was just, then he made fun of me. And I told him I picked it him up from a student, even though it was a five octave. Then I asked him, like, how long is the wait on one of your five octave rimbas? He says, well, right now, or it's about two years. And I said, well, you pay for quality and you have to wait for quality. And it is an incredible. So those are the two mallet instruments that I have. Um, like I said, my timpani are, are a set of Yamaha. And they, they are incredible drums. And um, I bought those, I got those back with... Um, 
from Steve Weiss. Steve Weiss is a percussion distribution company. And uh, back when Steve Weiss was alive, we became good friends. And uh, they're just out in Philly. And uh, I, I, when I was in the market to buy my own timpani, um, it was, uh, they, had, they just had different kinds. The teacher I was studying with, Cloyd Duff at a time said, you know, he had some that are coming out and I needed to wait. And I really couldn't wait because in order for me to play in Utah Chamber, uh, that was the first gig that I actually won as a principal timpanist that I needed to have my own set of timpani. So I was on the market for looking and I knew the season was starting. I needed to pick up my drum somewhere. And uh, Lone Star Percussion I checked out, Summer Haze Music, uh, all these different companies. And then Steve Weiss came in with by far the best price. And it was thousands below. And I just remember... Um, ordering from Steve Weiss and getting the 6200 drums, all copper shells, not hand hammered, but copper. And uh, it was really, a, they're a beautiful set of drums. And uh, what they sent me, uh, and there was no uh, fault of Steve Weiss, but uh, Yamaha had sent me uh, two 32s and a 26 and a 23, and I needed a 29 instead of a 32. And one was hand hammered that they sent. And so I, you know, I called them, Steve Weiss, they arranged it. They got me another 29, they drop shipped it in. And then uh, the pressure was kind of coming on a bit because I was uh, recording with the Canadian Brass and then along with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir back in Salt Lake City, Utah. But I needed these drums. Uh, but the 29 they sent me was uh, out of round. And so it couldn't hold its pitch. And so when I called Yamaha and the person that I dealt with, or Steve Weiss even, they were like, oh my gosh, uh, are you sure? And I said, I'm positive. So then they drop shipped me another 29, and well, which was perfectly in round, like in a day. I mean, it was incredible, the service I had. Steve Weiss, you know, the, 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 he felt so bad that he actually sent me a whole set of new drop covers, new set of heads, everything like that. They really took care of me. Plus the price is so good. Steve Weiss music. Is an incredible play, an incredible distribution company. If you want to order percussion from them as well, um, so those are a lot of the instruments that I use. I have another drum set that's set up in the studio, and it is a DW Drum Workshop. It was another incredible drum company, and it is their acrylic kit, and it's sea foam green. Green's my favorite color, so I got it there, and it's tuned more for like rock and funk. My other kit is the Erie Drums and Shells, and they are uh, all solid shell drums, depending on what snare drum I'm swapping, swapping in and out of. This is a, the snare drum is in Erie Drums and Shells, a solid shell sycamore with uh, maple rims on there. You can come see that at Studio Louie, which is really, really cool. And then all the drumsticks that I use from the timpani mallets, and timpani mallets are, are made. I have some Promarks. I have a lot of Adams. I have a lot of old Cloy Duffs that were made by Marshall Light. Uh, I have also Malice made by my closest, closest, one of my closest friends. He's the timpanist out of Nova Scotia, Michael Baker. Uh, he makes beautiful timpani mallets as well as Jeff Luft. He's out of Dayton, Ohio. And, uh, but Luft mallets, Michael Baker mallets are some of the most beautiful and resonant and expressive timpani mallets out on the market today. So uh, just so you know, I, I use those a lot as well. Uh, marimba mallets, I have such a wide variety, my, my uh, you know, and I'm not exactly like deadlocked into using uh, only Promark mallets for that. And so there's a wide variety of mallets. You know, you can always come to Studio Louie and check it out. Uh, real quick, before I end the series, I do have a new thing so that I'm starting. It is called a trans tranquil percussion experience it is uh, me playing the hang drum i have different instruments that you could come out and play uh, this is uh, a meditation experience kind of except for you you can actually play in a in a group and i have finger cymbals song bowls tibetan song bowls tibetan bells triangles all resonant instruments and peaceful it's almost like a it is like a uh, a drum circle but with more kind of earthy healing uh kind of tone instruments this is going to be at the medina library i'm putting flyers out here this week and uh it is april 2nd is the first so it's just held at the library in one of the rooms uh there 
and it is April 2nd at 7 until 8 uh, 7 p.m. until 8 p.m. And uh, come, you could come read a book, you could come meditate, you can come and sit and do yoga. You could also come and just relax and then play as well. If you are not a percussionist, you could come, but it's truly healing. It's going to be a really, really cool event. And then I have one scheduled every month, which I'll talk about. But anyway, that is this series of the Dig <laughs> series, not to be redundant. Thank you so much for listening. You can always find this on my YouTube uh, channel, which is uh, Ryan, R-Y-U-N-L-O-U-I-E. You can find it there. They usually pop up on my website, which is Ryan Lou, R-Y-U-N-L-O-U.com. And I look forward, I plan to have Johnny Max, John McFarlane uh, on the interview, which is an incredible uh, composer and arranger on next week's episode. So thank you very much for listening and truth.